Lesson 76, we're going to look at symmetry. Uh, and symmetry is just a property illustrated when the image of a transformation of a figure coincides with the pre-image. So, for example, we have a nice little heart here. And a line of symmetry simply means that, say this was a piece of paper. Well, if we folded it together, it would be the same image on both halves. And so, because this image, in a sense, is the same as this, therefore, you have a line of symmetry splitting it down the middle, meaning it can basically be reflected across that line uh, within its shape. So a heart, it only has one line of symmetry. This, if I reflected that or folded you know, an imaginary piece of paper there top and bottom, that would not work. So that would not be a line of symmetry. So this only has one line of symmetry. Example 1b asks if, if this shape has any lines of symmetry. Well, if I tried to cut it any way, there's no way that it would work to where it would fold completely in half. So therefore, that has no lines of symmetry. So that's lines of symmetry. Like, you know, we can even look at a square. A square actually has multiple lines of symmetry. You have one here. There's one, two, three, four. So you actually got four lines of symmetry. Just a little pointer. Um, for however many, if it's a regular polygon, uh, you will always have the amount of lines of symmetry as the amount of uh, vertices. So a triangle would have three lines of symmetry, quadrilateral four, pentagon five, and so on. But this one, we're also looking at rotational symmetry. Rotational symmetry is where if you put a dot, or if you gave it the shape a center, and you rotated the shape around that dot, it would still be the same exact shape. So, um, I don't have, um, well, let me see. Okay. So if I have a, oh, let's use this. I have this pad right here. Well, if I rotate it around the center 90 degrees, it's still the same shape. I just rotate it at 90 degrees. I can actually do it again. That'd be twice, three times, and the fourth time would be back to its original image. That is rotational symmetry. <clears throat> now, a couple of terms with that. Since it has rotational symmetry, we uh, one concept is called the order of rotational symmetry. So if it asks, what is the order? Uh, order of rotational symmetry. Well, that would be how many times it can rotate around that point where it's still the same image. So this shape would be four. So the order would be four. The next question you might ask is how many degrees? How many degrees for each turn? Well, I kind of drew it here, but each time I turn um, the square to where it would coincide with itself, it would be 90 degrees. So each order would be um, would be a 90 degree rotation. So we would say this has an order of four with 90 degree rotation. So now let's look at some of those in example three. It wants to know if this shape here has any rotational symmetry. So I put a dot in the middle. Well, if I turned it 90 degrees, that wouldn't work. But if I actually turned it 180 degrees, it would work. It would have an order of two. And I had to turn it 180 degrees in order for it to coincide with itself. So yes, it not, yes, this does have rotational symmetry. It's an order of two at 180 degrees. Got another shape in part B. Once to know if we have, so put our center here where we would rotate it. Does this one have rotational symmetry? Well, if I turned it 90 degrees, we'd say yes. 
at 90 degrees. So therefore, there would be an order of four. However you want to write it, doesn't matter. I'll get the idea. Order four. And then the last shape is C. Would this have any rotational symmetry? Well, sure, if you did a full 360, but that does not count. It has to at least have two um, orders for it to count as rotational symmetry, so therefore we would say no rotational symmetry. And so that's how you do uh, lines of symmetry and rotational symmetry in Lesson 76. That's all there is to it.